Well, John, welcome to Edgeley Park. Um, your signing, I think it's fair to say, has excited the fans, I think, as much as anything I've seen in the last 10 years here at Edgeley Park. <laughs> you must be delighted to have got this over the line. Yeah, you know, as soon as I spoke to you know the manager and Simon, you know, well, I wanted to come here. It was just about getting it ironed out with Barrow to come here and thankfully we end up getting her over the line How tough a decision has it been to leave Barrow um, obviously player of the year for the National League 20 goals for them and the title and a place in League 2 so a big a big decision for you Yeah it's obviously a big decision but that's football you sometimes you want to make them decisions and you know everything that the Slockwater are doing here you know they're heading in the right direction and don't get me wrong, my time at Barrow, I loved every minute there. You know, we had a great manager, mm. great bunch of lads, and, and we went on and done well, you know, winning the league. But what, what Stockport is doing now, it's really, you know, we're going to push on, and I want to be part of a team who's going to push on and go up the leagues. It's interesting to have a bit of sort of look back over your career, obviously, you know, starting at Everton as a, as a six-year-old, I think, and then moving on to, to Macclesfield, but then that spell in America as well and and then finding your feet back in England. You, you've really worked hard, I think, to, to get to this level, haven't you? Yeah, you know, I've, I've been about, I've obviously went to America for a couple of years and when I've come home, it was getting to know where I wanted to go and stuff like yeah. that, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy now, I'm settled, I'm going to be settled here at Slockport, it's... Not, not too far from where I live, so mm. it's nice and local. But you know, I'm looking forward to getting going now. In terms of your style of play, I mean, obviously I've seen you playing for Barrow as a number ten. I mean, is that where you see yourself in this in this outfit? Um, yeah, ten, eight. You know, played played a lot of games as an eight last year. Yeah. But anywhere in midfield, I can play most roles in the midfield. So whatever the manager wants on that day, or whatever game it's going to be, you know, I'm sure it's going to it's going to be different positions where you're going to need to play you know, so as long as I'm playing I'll be happy well, Scoring goals and, and also scoring free kicks is something I think you and your brother are sharing, I mean, the free kicks last season six of them including one to our cost as well oh, yeah. um, it's a big part of your game isn't it, how hard do you work on these set pieces? Um, just after training you know, taking a few free kicks after yeah. training and it's, you know, something I've always done really, took free kicks, set pieces and stuff like that so just keeping on top of it and you know, waiting a few off the training each day. And yeah. And Dave Conlon also told you told me you've scored a couple today in training that you'd no right to score. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the first day back in it, it was good, <laughs> good to get back on the balls and, you know, it was good to meet the lads, yeah. obviously, and I knew a few lads who was already here, but it was good to meet the rest of the lads and, you know, they really welcomed me in. You've obviously played against County before, but... How big a pull is, is this place, Edgeley Park, and the, and the fans, of course, when this place is packed? There's nowhere like it. Yeah, you know, last year when we played here, we all think we, we lost 3 2. But, Start the season, yeah. You know, when Slothport was going, it was, you know, the fans are, you know, the loud, you get how many thousand here. So I'm really looking forward to playing the home games here. Obviously, you must be grateful to, to Ian Everett, particularly, and, and, and Barrow, because um, they've certainly given you the platform in the last couple of years, haven't they? It's great to see them back in the league after all that time. Yeah, they. Um, yeah, no, it was a fantastic manager, him and Peter Atherton. They've done really well for me and they kicked me on a little bit. So, you know, so, you know, they've moved on now to obviously Bolton, but they was a big part of the way Barrow was. You know, mm. the gaffer done a lot of things there. And, um, you know, they, I think they pushed me on quite a bit, to be honest. So now you're here, what's the aim? What's the ambition? Um, obviously promotion, it's got to be. It's got to be promoted, get promoted. And you've signed a long-term deal as well. Is that a sign, not only of the club's commitment, but yours as well? Yeah, of course. I want to be, you know, I think I, when I spoke to them, I told them I wanted to be here straight away as soon as I spoke to them. But, you know, we've got to um, be up there this season and be going for promotion. I can't get through an interview without mentioning Wayne. He only lives down the road. Are we likely to see him coming watching you at all, do you think? Um, yeah, he's, lo- he's local to here. He's not too far, so he would probably get to the game or two. Good, it'd be good to see him here. Um, and in terms of the start of the season, how difficult has it been sort of preparing for a date you don't yet know? Yeah, I think that's where I was speaking to the gaffer about that before. And just, you know, you don't really know when to slip terrain and yeah. stuff like that. So it'd be good for when we get that date so we can barely slip the terrain enough. Well, listen, John, congratulations on your achievements last season and welcome to Edgley Park. Look forward to more of it here. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Love